Hey everybody, what's happening? Tim Eister here, Happy New Year, and welcome back to Bixton in City Skylines 2. In this episode, we're gonna get into something pretty exciting as this episode will finally be the time where both cities are going to be connected as one major city. So as you can see here, I laid down a massive street layout here that connects both cities together. Most of this is going to be low density residential as you know, you'll find in most North American style cities. So without further ado, let's jump right into the game. Um, you'll see here that I just crossed over into level 15. So Bixton is now a metropolis, or at least the greater Bixton area, let's say. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So first off, I'm going to work on this area here between the railroad tracks and the highway. And in this area, you'll find mostly um, offices. All right, so I have quite a large office demand right now. So we should have no problems at all filling in this entire area. And you know what? Just for fun, I might include a few industrial buildings dotted here and there. Oops. I misclicked. There. So let's get a nice mixture of industrial and office buildings. Which way is the wind direction going? Oh, okay, it's going this way, so I don't really have to worry too much about air pollution. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I didn't know industrial buildings were uh, were influenced by offices. It looks like they don't really intermingle very well. But they seem to be building just fine, so I guess that's okay. I guess we'll just keep going as is. Oh, wow. So it looks like just with these offices, I've completely eliminated my office's demand. Um, so I guess the rest of this will be industrial. And Oh, wow. This is unexpected. Okay. What do I got here? Chemical plant. Um, okay. So the chemical plant, is it huge? Oh, yeah. It's massive. Um, hmm. Where should I place this building? It's not going to fit anywhere near here. I should probably put it over in this industrial zone. Uh, but we're not working in this area today. So I might, might postpone plopping this building down. So let's keep on going. I think I'm going to place down some commercial zones as well. And I got a little bit of empty space here. So I may as well use that up. Plop a street going out back here. And I guess I'll just do industrial. Just like this. And this whole area here is probably going to be warehouses and industrial buildings as well. Just because of its proximity to the airport, I feel like this area is kind of suitable for that. So I don't have to worry too much about air pollution going off in this direction. So while this is building up, let's get into some residential zones. So all of these streets have been laid out in a fashion that uh, can support this. Uh, but actually first, there's one thing I think I forgot to do. I don't want to have any buildings along this avenue. I want this avenue to be kind of like a, you know, like a main arterial road. So I'm going to make it so nothing is actually on the road. There, so let's do this and then this. Connect everything up just like that. Now, unfortunately, it's going to leave a big empty space here. Maybe what I can do is 
put a street down like this. Yeah, that's probably better. Yep, that works. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the road. There we go, perfect. And actually, to improve access to this trail, why don't I connect up these little little spots like this. There, so we'll start off with that. Now, I think <laughs> with the amount of residential zoning that I'm going to put down in this episode, that should get rid of a lot of this demand. So I might... There's a possibility that I might not even have enough demand um, to fill in all of these zones. And look at that. Wow, I already have some offices. Office demand. Building up. Okay. Well, with that being the case, I am going to fill in these zones over here with office buildings. As they're going to pretty much be adjacent to uh, a lot of these homes, and I don't want buildings that produce a lot of uh, pollution to be in the area, so. There, let's put all offices over here. And then we'll keep going with the residential. And it's also worth mentioning that later in this episode, I will be getting into public transportation in order to support all of these new areas that I'm adding to the city. Because we're sitting at just over, just under 61,000 people in the whole city. So, you know, with uh, all the buildings that I'm adding in this episode, who knows where we'll be. That'll do it for this area. Um, I don't know if I should add houses this close to a rail line. I don't think I will. And as you can see, I also preemptively plop down some parks. So we got that covered. Oh, actually, before I get too carried away, I gotta plop down some schools. So I don't think I have enough room for them in any of these districts. However, I plopped a soccer field over here. It's actually called a soccer field. Wow. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not called a football field. Uh, okay, so elementary school. I'm 100% going to need one of these. So why not plop it right by the soccer field? And let's put down some extension wings. I'm going to put down a children's clinic just because I got the room and may as well plop down um, a play park as well. Actually, I can't forget a high school, although I have a high school. Uh, no, that's a college. 
I have a high school over here. There's really not a lot of students at all. And then I have a high school over near downtown, which is only half full. So it appears to me that high schools, for whatever reason, they're not as like notoriously packed <laughs> as elementary schools. You know, I, I think it might be because Bixton is still a relatively new city, right? It's only 2025 in the game. So the city is only two years old. I think, I think the game starts in the current year. So yeah, the city is technically only two years old. So the, the population would be still pretty young. So that's probably why. I think we may see a shift eventually. People will grow older and then go to college or well, high school first and then college. So um, I'm not going to place another high school for now. I'm going to keep things as is. And plus, the, the high school that is near downtown and the one in Auburn is not really that far for people to travel, so. I'll just keep everything as is. Wow, and I'm actually surprised. Look at all... With all the residential zonage that I'm plopping down... It's not even making a dent in my demand. So that's actually a good thing because it means I can just keep going. Plopping homes everywhere. And, uh, you know, we can get a ton of new people into the city. Look at that. I already have all of these neighborhoods built up. Fantastic. And might as well plop a store here between these trails. Maybe a little grocery store or something will come up here. Sweet! Alright, and then over here, all of these streets are not really suitable for residential, but I think... I think this could be more of like an industrial zone. So I might plop down a couple of industrial buildings. Actually... I wonder if this would be a good spot for the new chemical plant. No, the chemical plant's pretty massive. I don't think there's any way that I can get it to fit here. And plus, I don't think it's a very suitable spot because there's like people all around. <laughs> I don't want to pollute the air where everybody lives. So I'm going to make this a an industrial slash office area. Now, the only problem is... I don't want like big trucks and stuff coming through this area. I might have to do something transportation wise to prevent this because all in all, this is not the best location for a port. But I mean, Auburn is a very old city and a lot of times you find ports near downtown areas. But worst case, if there's a ton of truck traffic coming in and out of this place, then maybe it might be time to plow a highway through the city, right? That's always a good option. Let's get some more industries in here. And then maybe I can slowly transition into offices. Just to not get the surrounding citizens sick from air pollution. There, so I'm going to start with that. And let's get to expanding over here. So over here, I think it's appropriate to have houses. Actually, I might remove like one square there, just to leave a, a realistic amount of space between the tracks and the houses. So all of this will be houses. 
Let's make sure to have enough jobs for everybody though. So along the main roads, let's have some commercial zones. this and there we go guys i guess we can uh, confidently say that both cities are now connected look at that that is wild that looks really cool once all of this neighborhood is built up that is awesome so look at these neighborhoods over here looking very nice i'm gonna do a pass and plop some trees here in between all of the houses. I usually like to do that once I'm done in an area. Because sometimes as houses build up, it'll sometimes remove the existing trees that were once there. So I just like to go through here. Put down a bunch of trees that will hopefully squeeze themselves between all of the lots. Yeah, I suppose I could pass here too, along the railroads, different types of trees. There. Pine trees look very cool as well once they're all mature. Unfortunately, they just take so long to grow. Not just the pine trees, like every tree, but still. There. How many people are in this school already? Okay, just 31. It's going to take a little bit of time for all the students to, to come in here, but no doubt eventually it's going to become full. All right, guys. Well, with this area being all built up, I could have done like here as well. I might, I might do that, but I just didn't know. I wanted to leave enough space for like bigger buildings. Uh, but I think the next thing I'm going to work on is public transportation. So I feel that Auburn is a good size now. Big enough to support an actual bus network. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. First, though, I'm going to need to place down a bus depot because I'm no doubt very near the limit of how many buses I have in total so let's uh let's plop down a bus depot over here by the highway so i'm gonna extend this street all the way to about here and then i can huh, let's see if i take the bus depot maybe if i put it on an angle like this Plop that right here. There, and I mean, I'm making a ton of money more than 5 million per month. So I may as well place some extra garages. One on each end, is that how I should do this? I might be good with just one for now. How many vehicles in use? Okay, so I have 35 vehicles that can spawn from here. So I think that's good. Now, the next thing I'll do is start to place some bus station. So the taxis are already kind of going in and out of this area. So at least we got that. But let's plan this out. Hmm. 
Because I need to integrate both systems here. At what point does Auburn start and Bixton end? That is the question. And I was actually thinking off camera. So right now I have all of these little districts, right? All of the little districts that make up the city of Bixton. I was kind of debating just making one big zone for Bixton and then one big zone for Auburn and then like little zones here and there for all the small towns that are going to be surrounding the city. I don't know. That might be that might be an option. Um hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this for a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back after a few minutes of deliberation and here is here's the plan. So this little brook right here is going to be uh where the division between Bixton and Auburn starts. So this little brook, um, it kind of ends at this street right here, but uh, we can say that maybe at one point it would have kind of gone like in this direction here, would have like woven its way in this direction. So, so this little brook will be the border and 100% of the airport is going to be owned by Bixton. So then maybe we can make some sort of like arbitrary line here that goes uh, in this direction. So, um, just to give you kind of an idea, so this little inlet is uh, is like the border between both cities. Okay, so I'm not going to place down a district just yet because I want to buy up all the land here before I do that. Because I don't want to have to like adjust the, the city's borders a bunch of times. Um, but just, just so you guys know, just so you remember, that's where the, the line is. All right, so let's keep going now. I think I'm going to fill in all of this land between these two highways here, and then I'll be all set to uh, build up a bus network. Um, it's also worth mentioning that somebody gave me a really, really cool idea for a light rail network throughout the city. So I won't get into that for a little while, but it's it's one of my plans to, to do exactly that, to build a subway network or to build like a light rail network throughout the whole city. Um, so you'll just have to stay tuned for that in a little while. All right, so let's lay down some streets over here and let's get some people moved in over in this corner of the map. So I'm gonna head into time-lapse mode for just a few minutes here, guys. Let's get these streets all laid down and uh, I will check in with you in just a moment.
All right, guys, this is the new area. It's all zoned up. All the streets have been laid out. Now, I can't forget to place healthcare. So I'm just going to plop a medical clinic somewhere in the middle here. Um, probably like right over here would work. There. So, you know what? I'm just preemptively going to upgrade this clinic to the max. And this is going to service this entire area. Now, if I check police, we already have a couple of police cars patrolling these areas. So I think I'm good on that. Fire protection. Well, it could be a little better. So I think a fire hall would be a wise thing to put over here. So I'm going to plop this right here. And then this fire hall will be able to service this entire area. Let's just double check. Oops, that's police, uh, fire services. Yep, pretty good. Overall coverage is okay in the entire city. I wonder why like all of these buildings are yellow. And like over here, everything is green. Maybe I should upgrade this fire hall. Just so we have like more trucks available. Maybe there's just not enough trucks for the amount of buildings there are in the vicinity. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I might want to do that here too. So by default, uh, we have access to four fire engines, but then if I put an extension garage, that brings it up to eight. So let's do that. All right, so this area is ready to go. We have all of our essential services plopped down. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is get into the public transportation system. Now, this is going to be another, another doozy because we already have a little bit of a system over here. And basically, I'm going to be creating two separate public transportation systems. Well, maybe not public transportation systems, but uh, bus networks at the very least. So let's go ahead. I'm going to plop down some buses over here. Hmm. There, let's do like this. And I guess I'll just continue this line on. So I'm going to remove this station. There. And then, can I just drag this line? Yes, I can. All right, so let's continue it here. Is this even working? Oh, no, it, okay, didn't even actually connect. So there, we'll connect this line up to this station. Do the same thing over here. Oh, I put this station on the wrong side of the road. So I will remove it. Oh, what the heck? It's weird. Uh, let's put another bus stop here. Connect this up like that. Oh crap, oops, I forgot that there was others. Well, this one is actually not really gonna be used. So, Let's bring this one over here, this one here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, okay, it actually makes sense. So I'm gonna replop this station. I wasn't really seeing the big picture, but now it's pretty clear. So then I'll move this stop here. All right, so then this line, the idea is it's going to run from east to west. 
Now, how am I going to support these neighborhoods? It's all, <laughs> they're all cut off from these, uh, by these train tracks. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I got this line here following the coast. I'll just keep it going. And then I think what's going to have to happen here is I'm going to place a bus station. Oh, they're so huge. I might be forced. Oh, Jesus. Oh, another plane scare. Oh, the planes are so loud in this game. It's crazy. <laughs> um, okay, well, I might... I might need to destroy this park in order to make room for a bus station. Because I think this is going to be a... A very integral part of this area because it's basically like the intersecting point for these two systems maybe actually let's check I'm gonna check my natural resources menu because I may have drained all of this oil um oh my god those planes are so loud you know what? I think I'm going to destroy this industry. Yeah. All of these people are seem pretty happy about it. Um, let me just double check here. Yeah, you see like a lot of that oil has been extracted. And I mean, there's still not plenty of oil on this map. This map actually has very few oil deposits, but oh my God, we got a tornado. Luckily, it's way over there, so hopefully it doesn't make its way to the city. But anyways, we got some oil over there. We got some oil over there. And I think that might be it. Oh, we got lots over here. Okay, well, might not be too bad. Unfortunately, <laughs> I put the uh, this train depot right on top of the oil. Okay. So, I'm going to put a bus station right here and I may as well may as well plop a street here and then another one here just to kind of complete this neighborhood and then what a good spot for some offices and then maybe a Oh, what is this? An encasarium. In this complex office building, you can often hear people muttering the motto, better safe than sorry, and just in case. Well, you know, I think that can be said for just about any office building. So, on the theme of office buildings, wouldn't this look great over here? And look at that, it even has a little curve into it. But this looks like a historical building. You know what? This might look good in downtown what does it even offer plus one university graduation chance citywide plus five well-being within 1.5 kilometers plus five interest in university education citywide and plus one office efficiency and it's a historical looking building so why not plop it downtown oh wow it actually it looks like it would fit perfectly in like one of these blocks Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. It just fits here. Maybe I'll plop it, like... Oh, it's a shame it doesn't fit, like, perfectly here because there's kind of, like, that curve in the road. Or, like, here might look cool. I'll have to sacrifice a... A large building but I'm just trying to take advantage of that little corner in the building but like right here I think would look pretty cool I'm going for it oh yeah look at that so I'll dezone this little spot here and then hopefully these little trails play nice uh, not bad, I guess. Do 
Here, I'll do this. Um... There. That looks not too bad, eh? That's pretty cool. At one point, I'm gonna have to revise, like, this area in particular, you know? Expand downtown a little bit, but... For now, this building looks pretty cool where it is. Nice. Okay, well, carrying on then. This is gonna be a long episode, because I haven't even gotten into... Like, the main topic of this episode. And why do I have industry here? This is like a very high-tech zone in the city. All right, so I got my bus depot station, rather. So let's do um, let's let's begin our line here. So I'm gonna want to take a line from Bixton and bring it over to this station, and then maybe do the same. For the coastal line for Auburn so hmm okay yeah I, I know just the thing this is gonna be pretty cool so bus station here and then another one here oh I got the school right here um, Okay, I'm gonna put a bus station in, in behind the, the school. So now what I'll do... Is I'm going to take this green line here. And... Nope, not that. I'm gonna bring it to over here and over here and then over here and just like this one more here and bloop into this bus station and then at this point I'll basically just reverse the line and it'll go back into its original direction oh actually hang on here there I'll remove that I'll just take this dot bloop actually why oh okay no that's the other line all right I'm good come on there all right there we are Actually, both lines are not even using using this station. How do I get that to work? Oops. I was like, I got the blue line. I got two, three lines coming through this station. All right, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, there we go. So I think what I'll do here is I'm actually gonna remove these two stations. And then I'll put one here. So this is kind of gonna be a little bit of a loop. Go down there. Yeah, okay, I got an idea. So you guys might be raising an eyebrow right now trying to think what I'm doing, but I'll show you how it's all gonna work out. All right, so let's grab this line. Connect it up to this station. 
And then up to this station. And then by now, you probably know what I'm up to. One over here. Uh, why not? One over here. There. Oh, crap. Nope, I shouldn't have done that. All right. Here, I'll delete this one. And then I will drag this node over to this station. Actually, you know what? I'll add one more station on this street corner. Just to prevent like a bunch of zigzagging, you know? You want your lines to be kind of as straight as possible, or at least I like to, them to be. And then let's bring this into bus stall number two. Another station here. There. And how's about that, guys? There, and then this line continues on to this station, just as normal, and oh, it looks like this one's not connected. There. Both connected over here, both connected here, are they? Yep. Yeah, there we go. All looks good over here. Sweet. All of this area is taken care of. Most of this area is okay. Although I could have probably maybe added like two lines going east to west here. But at least, at least I got some buses coming. Like, you know, it's not that much of a far walk to, to catch this bus. I'm just trying to think. Should I, should I do anything like over here? Maybe I should, but I might hold off on that because I still have like some buses to build over this corner eventually, over here and whatnot. Yeah, so I think I'll leave it like this for now. I think that's okay. What I might end up doing is like moving this bus to the very edge of this neighborhood and then having like another bus maybe running along this main road. Now, that, that actually sounds like a good idea, but not today, <laughs> because this episode is already long enough. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Now, this is really exciting, because look, look at the city. We finally have like one continuous chunk of development, and it's really, really exciting. So the city, like, look at all the room we have, guys. I was just pondering not too long ago. Just look how massive the map is. Like, you can kind of see the edge of the map here where the trees stop. Like, it goes all around here. Like, we can really make Bixton into a massive metropolis. Uh, but it's going to take some time, you know? Uh, but I'm loving this game so far. I've sunk in already like a few hundred hours into City Skylines 2, so it's really, really exciting. I can't wait to sink another few thousand into it. So again, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Oh my god, what have we got going on over here? We got triple boat near collision, it looks like. Traffic jam. All right, guys. Well, that will be it for this episode. So I thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year, guys. 2024. It's going to be an amazing year. I can already tell. Um, so thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Drop a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified of future uploads. And until the next episode, take care, everyone.